Ethereum simply explained. Cryptocurrencies have taken the world by storm in the past decade. Are they a stroke of genius or a soon to be forgotten failed experiment? This article will investigate the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap called Ethereum. Ethereum was conceived in 2013 by programmer Vitalik Buterin. It was built as an open source decentralized blockchain with smart contract functionality, with Ether serving as the native cryptocurrency on the platform. Open source, decentralized, blockchain, smart contracts, a long list of crypto lingo that can easily go over one's head. Let's explore the basics. Open source. Open source means that no permission is needed to build on the platform. While Bitcoin primarily serves as a ledger payment system, Ethereum is more like a marketplace. The software that developers build on the Ethereum blockchain is called dApps, short for decentralized applications. We can think of Ethereum being the WWW of any website on the internet. Ethereum is the base layer while the rest of the URL serves as the application built on top of it. For example, www.finmeup.co.za The www serves as the Ethereum. There are currently over 3,000 dApps built on the Ethereum blockchain with various purposes, including, which is also use cases, finance, games, gambling, exchanges, insurance, and many more. So, if we look at how the system works, and this is part of decentralized, what decentralization means. Before cryptocurrency, the only way to use money digitally was through an intermediate bank. The money was government issued and controlled. Decentralization means that individuals can trade directly with one another without the need for an intermediary. intermediary. Connecting directly to one another is called a peer-to-peer -peer network. It's from each transaction is validated and confirmed by the entire global network. No single point of authority, no single point of failure. The system is virtually impossible to shut down, manipulate or control. Decentralization is a system for, for the people. With everyone having little control instead of one entity having all the control. And this is also part of the discussion whether, you know, Facebook will control the metaverse because they are not completely not decentralized and people want decentralization we will discuss the exact process of decentralization and how it is maintained on the network in one of the next articles moving on to blockchain blockchain technology simply put is a public record of all transactions that have taken place on the network all transactions will be verified and stored in data blocks using cryptography each block can store up to a certain number of transactions before a new block is created, with every block containing a zip version of the previous one and received a new block ID called the hash. If any for information in any block must be changed, all the blocks must be changed. It was originally referred to as the chain of blocks, but was later adopted simply as blockchain. Then... Moving on to smart contracts and what smart contracts mean. And this is going to be a big part of our future, in my opinion. So smart contracts. Are you smart enough to understand smart contracts? Let's dig in. Smart contracts are coded contracts that automatically execute when specific terms and conditions are met. Using basic code, if functions on the if-then rule. So to put it in simple terms, if X happens, then execute Y. And that is the contract. If you give me your PlayStation, then I will give you 0.2 Ether. If you reach 100,000 views on YouTube, then 10 Ether will be transferred to your account. If the Springboks beat New Zealand by more than 8 points this weekend, then I will send you 1 Ether. So when the conditions in a smart contract are met, the Ether will be transferred, transferred immediately and autom automatically. So if not, the Ether will remain with the original user. By using smart contracts, we essentially remove the middleman from the equation. And you can just think about the endless amounts of use cases for this. So let's use a more complicated example. Bob wants to sell his house to Elise. Bob lists the title deed to his house on the Ethereum blockchain in a smart contract. 
If a lease transfers 500 Ether to Bob's wallet address, then the smart contract will execute and Alice will receive the title deed and become the new owner of the house. The transaction will be recorded for everyone to see on the publicly displayed Ethereum blockchain. And with this contract, there is no third party and all the validators in the network will have recorded the transaction. The Ethereum blockchain is where the history of all the smart contracts are stored. So, smart contracts are immutable, which means they cannot change. The rules are set. In the case where a mistake was made on the original, we can simply create a new smart contract with new terms, including scrapping the old ones. The benefits are clear. We have coded financial agreements that nobody can argue, that don't change, that don't need an intermediary, and that everybody has access to via a public blockchain. So essentially, if we think of all the use cases, it is amazing. So let's look at the closing remarks. So in conclusion, Ethereum is an open source decentralized blockchain with smart contract functionality. While the future of cryptocurrencies is unclear, Ethereum's potential in the space cannot be underestimated. In the next article, we will discuss the structure of decentralized Ethereum blockchain as well as Ethereum 2 that is approaching. Overall, personally, I own Ethereum and I own a lot of Ethereum. It is still early and it, is, it still carries a lot of risk. So do your own due diligence. Hopefully this video explained Ethereum to you. Please join the FinMeUp community. The link is in the description. We've got the new app launching soon and it's going to be incredible. We'll educate you all about investing, cryptocurrencies, finance, personal finance, including credit, loan, insurance, all of that. So essentially that you can become the boss of your own finances. And our mission to you is to clear the way to financial independence. And we'll do everything we can to make that happen. So generally, we like Ethereum. We like the possibilities and the possibility the possible use cases. Some say it's like the internet in the early days. Nobody knew how it was going to look like, including e-commerce. And yet, look where we are today. So it's exciting. It's early. Let us know what you think of Ethereum. Do you own Ethereum or not? Hope this helped. Cheers.